Welcome back everyone, Mate Talk time. <coughs> Wonderful to be in front of you. For those who are new, Mate Talk, it's all about you guys. What is Mate? Mate is actually a, um, a South American drink that is uh, herbal. Yerba Mate is the, the actual tea component of it. Um, everyone drinks it. This is Messi, he's Argentinian, and uh, he actually drinks it before his games. This is the Pope, <laughs> he drinks it too. Uh, he's Argentinian also. And this is Barack Obama. He's not Argentinian, Hawaiian actually. Um, but he's drinking mate. Actually, as I was Googling, I was trying to find Messi and the Pope, and I came across Barack Obama drinking mate, and I'm like, it's a world drink, clearly. The word mate in Australia means friends, and so mate talk is really about uh, find a beverage that you enjoy, in this case mate, and uh, let's communicate um, through this method. The great thing about mate talk is that it gives you guys a chance to ask me a question and I'll action that real fast. When I do um, my normal sort of episodes, they take quite a bit of time. If you've missed out on Decus, I did, uh, this one took, and I'm not exaggerating, this one took me about three to four days to bring to actually, it took me longer because I was thinking about this when I was overseas and I wanted, actually I wanted to film this in Rome to be honest, um, but I just couldn't bring it to life. My brain was really so, uh, so those episodes take quite a bit of time. I like sort of creating a, a narrative on those other than just what's the fragrance about. Whereas today in Mate Talk is really ask me a question today and most likely next week I'll have an answer for you. Last week I had this amazing man, Max. He asked me the question of what are some good boozy uh, style fragrances that I like that I would recommend. So I'm gonna have, I have four for you today. Number one, so if you like boozy style fragrances, I, I, in my opinion, they work well. Summer, winter, they, in some cases, they tend to be a little bit more sort of cooler uh, days kind of fragrance or even into the evening. Um, I'm gonna share some that can work um, any time of the season. And I'm gonna share them uh, in level of sweetness because I find that some boozy fragrances can be quite sweet. They have some sweet notes in there. So for me, the sweetest in this lineup that I'm about to share is Baraonda. Now, the brand is Nasomato. If you're not aware, I am a big Alessandro Galtieri fan. Nasomato is his baby. And if you are new to Nasomato as a range of fragrances, you most likely heard of Black Afghano. I wouldn't start there. I would actually start here, Baraonda. Baraonda is a super easy, very pleasant, um, very unique but wonderfully boozy fragrance. It's a whiskey note that's in there. Uh, and uh, to quickly define it, it would be like a honey whiskey kind of rose. It has this beautiful rose dry down. Lasts forever. Like all the Nasomatos, super concentrated, um, very unique, uh, super punchy. I don't recommend any more than two to three sprays on any of the Nasomatos and definitely on Baraonda. For me, um, in a full heat summer day, I wouldn't recommend it. I think it might be a bit too cloy, a little bit too sweet. Um, but as an evening, even on a hot, like at the end of the day, even though it's been a scorching hot day, wear it as an evening fragrance, shirt open for the guys, girls, you might get too much attention. Um, it would be glorious. Just the sillage on this is always spectacular. The, the longevity, you're probably looking about five, six plus hours. Um, you think it's gone, it's still there. It's Anyway, as a, as a boozy fragrance, number one. Um, if you missed my video, there's a video, I'll put a link here. I did a whole series on this and uh, I would strongly recommend Baraonda as number one for you in level of sweetness. The second one that I would recommend from a boozy kind of perspective is this amazing brand called Frappan. Now Frappan, uh, believe it or not, are actually a cognac creator back in 1270 in France. They, they were making, um, well, they, since then, they've been making cognac. Uh, if you look on the back of the bottle, there's the, the crest, that the royal quest, crest that was given to them. The bottle looks like a cognac glass. I mean, that's designed to, to be like that. And the story goes is that this one here, which is called 1270 to celebrate when the, the Rapan company actually first started, was that uh, probably about 20 years ago or so, the, uh, the daughter of the, the Frappan family, they were doing a testing of the cognac. She was getting a little bit, uh, sort of like she'd had enough of alcohol, and so she put it on her hand. She actually dipped the cognac on, and she was smelling the bouquet of it. 
And in that moment, she realized that as a fragrance, you know, yes, it was a beautiful cognac, but as a fragrance, it also worked. So this is uh, in homage to their, uh, the cognac that they create. If you want to know more, I actually created a video on all well, the three fragrances that I really like in this um, particular um, lineup. There's another one in here that's also boozy, which is um, Speakeasy. The thing was, the, the reason why I didn't want to put Speakeasy into here is because I've got another one that falls into that kind of category. So I wanted to share with you 1270. If you haven't had a chance to experience this, really spectacular opening notes. Uh, this beautiful like candied like orange. It has this beautiful fruit bouquet to start off with. There is a slight pineapple note to my nose. Um, then it goes into this beautiful chocolate, the cacao sort of uh, component to it, honey elements, this plum. It's honestly, as another, so I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned that this Baronda as a, as a fragrance on a first date or anything like that would just be, you just, <laughs> they won't be able to take your hand, their hands off you. I mean, you really, you would be intoxicating with this. Uh, and the second one is this one here. It's not as sweet, in my opinion, not as sweet as Baronda. Uh, the sweetness levels are a little bit toned down. I'm getting more of the, when it dries down, the spicy, the woods component. Um, it actually falls into a, let me just be sure, dry woods. So it's more of a dry woods kind of fragrance, but just glorious. So I would, that, that would be, so you've got a, a whiskey and you've got a, a, a cognac. If I move across, this is the one that I, that started it all. This is Elborn. I'm actually wearing it today. Elborn is a beautiful rum-like um, sort of fragrance. The, the key thing for me with this one here is that, it, it, interestingly, it doesn't have any warm spices like cinnamon or anything of that nature, but there is this warm spiciness to it. It's actually really, really divine. It's, um, uh, it has this opening of fruit almost, I mean, so that when the opening sort of bursts uh, out of the fragrance, it's very, it has a booziness to it, but a sweet, almost maple syrup-like. It's got this beautiful, authentic, sweet maple syrup, rum, fruit. It's, it's really, it's just a, this beautiful collection of different notes that are actually exploding. Um, when it dries down, it doesn't dry down, uh, it does dry down a little less sweet. It's not so, um, not so lightheaded, so not so heady when it comes to the, the sweetness and the fragrance. Um, there is a slight powderiness that I pick up on the actual fragrance. I'm not sure where that's coming from either, but it does, it does dry down a lot more subtle, a lot more, this, this would be perfect as a summer fragrance. This would be, it's fantastic as a winter fragrance. I've been wearing it and absolutely love it. All right, let me take a small break here and allow you the chance to, you, you've probably been enjoying your drink while I've been talking. Last one. The last one is a, it's almost like, um, like a wild card. Because this is Don, by the way. So Don by Zerjoff. I wanted to include it because it's such a, it's such a unique, it's such a um, complex, but it has those whiskey elements to it, yet it comes at it from a wholly new and different direction. This is part of the Join the Club collection, so we don't know what notes are in here. Um, people make an assumption, you can jump on Fragrantica, you can see that there are things like tobacco and whiskey and things of that nature. So this is not, so if I were to compare Baronda, which is a very clean, clear whiskey note that's coming through on this, with Dawn, it's a little bit more complex. The one thing that I get, so it opens up with uh, like a boozy kind of component to it, but when it dries down, it actually comes to, it goes down to like a, a smoky, in my, to my nose, a smoky metallic kind of sort of vibe to it. The story goes that it's, uh, I guess, in um, homage to uh, Don, as in Don Corleone, uh, or it's a mafia boss, or, and that there's a level of that sort of um, their world. So it's a tobacco and whiskey and obviously trouble with shooting each other and gun smoke and things of that nature. Um, so it, it's actually, this is where the other ones can easily be uh, unisex, uh, comfortable masculine feminine. This one here, in my opinion, I, it does have a very heavy masculine lean to it. 
There are, and I, and I can't, and I try to pinpoint as to why. Why do I feel that way? But I just, I don't know, I just, I, I can't see a woman wearing this. I think it, it's a little bit too, not harsh, but it's a bit, there are some stronger tones in there. And, I, and I, I'm curious to see, look, if there's any women who are, who do have Don and they actually love wearing it, I'd love to get your perspective on it. I do feel that, as I said, it's a bit more on the masculine side of things. So there you have it, four amazing boozy style fragrances that I would recommend. Uh, a lot of them play beautifully in summer and definitely, they definitely play really, really well over winter. If you have any questions you wanna ask me, go right ahead. I, Mate Talk is, as I said, all about you guys. So if there's anything new that you'd like me to explore, discover, or even share, let me know, put it in the comments, and I'll make sure to bring something together next week. But for now, see you guys. We'll see you all on the next Monday talk. Mm -hmm.